Hey, uh, today we're at the LTD Sailing Dock, uh, multi-hill company office here in Grenada, and we're looking at a 2014 Balance 451. Beautiful boat, glad to have this on our docks right here. Just taking a look here from the back, um, you can see big solar array, there's some more up on top of that bimini. We got 1200 watts of solar uh, in two banks. So you can see that back panel array there is actually articulating. That'll kind of go back and forth there. You can uh, tilt it with the sun, get the maximum uh, maximum output out of it. And also, you might notice that dinghy. That's a pretty big dinghy, back of a 45-foot cat. Uh, center console rib there, fiberglass rib. 40-horse uh, mercury on the back. Really nice setup. Um, yeah, it's a lot of dinghy. Uh, you know, great for... Uh, doing wakeboard uh, and kiteboard chase. Uh, wake, the owners are saying they're wakeboard behind that, no problem. And they've used it as a kiteboard chase boat as well. Uh, really nice, so yeah, go ahead and step on board here. Take a look around. All right, here we are on board Symmetry. We're gonna take a walk up front. We'll come back and check out the cockpit area here in just a minute. So uh, this is a, a Balance 451. It's a cruising, you know, performance cruising cat. Uh, you notice the dagger boards right here. Uh, that's going to help it point. Um, this boat will point 45 degrees or less to the wind. Uh, we had one of these in our sailing school uh, recently and sailed that thing for about a year. Uh, it regularly would point 37 to 40 degrees uh, with good boat speed, very little leeway. Really nice setup. Okay, we get to watch how the kayak deals with the uh, boat wake there. All right, no problem. Okay. Uh, we can see here we've got a, a uh, self-tacking jib set up. So you just set the, you set the blocks here uh, for however far you want the, the sail to be able to go when you tack. And then basically you got your main set up. You're just tacking the boat and the jib uh, takes care of itself. Pops right, right across, no problem. We can also see uh, up front here we've got the screecher on the carbon fiber bowsprit. Pretty nice setup there. For any time you're reaching, if you're, uh, you know, anytime you're off the wind, uh, furl up that, that jib. This will work pretty good down to probably like 180 degrees off the wind. I'm sorry, 180, 120 degrees off the wind. Uh, let's be real about that. Nice furlex drum there uh, for the jib. And then you see out there on the, on the screecher, we've got that uh, continuous line, little Selden continuous line furler there. Uh, those work great. We've got, it looks like a folding uh, Danforth style anchor there for our secondary. And if we take a peek over the front here, maybe we can see there's actually a, uh, a Rockna, I believe that's a 25 kilogram Rockna hiding down there. Works out really well. Okay. We'll come back and, uh, and take a look at these mechanical spaces here in just a bit. But uh, just as long as we're up here, we'll take a look at the mast. Nice setup there. Checking out those Delron washers are looking good there on the gooseneck. This is a triradial cut sails for the main and for the jib. Great setup there. Nice cruising, kind of performance cruising setup. And the other thing I'm noticing just as we're looking here on uh, on these front windows, they're all glass. That's uh, aircraft glass. Uh, even the opening hatch there, it's uh, aircraft glass uh, right there. So really nice. Uh, they didn't know crazing, um, very durable, very safe. A little breezy out here. Yep. Okay, let's go to back and uh, take a look. We can see uh, up here on the cabin top, there's some more of that solar array up there. Looks good. Hull construction on this boat, it's uh, fiberglass with vinyl ester resin, carbon reinforcements. Very stiff hull design, very lightweight. Gives the boat a lot of, a lot better performance. Just taking a look here at the cockpit. Really nice flow through, nice entertainment area. Comfortable layout. Let's go take a look at some of the cool features over here. We've got the cockpit, cockpit sink right there. You can see the fridge there. And then one of, uh, one of my favorite features on this is actually the barbecue. Check this out. This opens up. There's our barbecue right down there. 
and this just will lift up on gas shocks except you need two hands to do it let's see if we can get it on film there it is pops right up uh, this is a Australian type uh, barbecue pretty cool it's uh, lifts up here you've got the the grill it'll act as an oven you can use it for you know barbecue stuff you can make cookies in there you name it really cool uh, setup great option on that okay just taking a little look around the cockpit from the other side all right just taking a look at the rigging setup how uh, how the lines are all ran here so we know we've got our self tacking jib so we don't need two jib sheets we just got the one it's ran right here to this winch um, yeah, it's also uh, our main halyard is ran here, and this winch, being an electric winch, gives us a nice, uh, easy way to bring up the bring up the main. So uh, nice and easy there. Also, uh, we've got over on this side, we've got a manual winch. We've got our two main sheets ran over here. Uh, really nice system. It just eliminates the need for a for a traveler, and uh, makes jibing the boat really easy. Gives you a great sail control. Uh, over the shape. Uh, for raising and lowering the dinghy, uh, you can use the winch over here just for uh, a little resistance when you're lowering it down, but that'll really easily cross sheet over to the electric winch when it comes time to raise it. So it makes raising the, that big dinghy uh, really easy. And if we look a little bit uh, back here on how the davits are rigged up, we got a four to one purchase on the engine side. What do we got on the other side? It looks like four to one on that side also. So nice uh, lots of purchase on that it's going to make raising and lowering the dinghy really easy all right just stepping up to the helm here take a look at how this is set up really nice comfortable helm seat here just first off let's take a look our visibility uh we've got the isinglass up here so it's a little bit hazy there but we can really easily see uh, both of our bows up there no problem coming back around this side there's our our uh, port stern there no problem and uh, rest of the way around starboard stern it's gonna make docking and uh, any kind of close quarters maneuvering really easy just sitting back here at the helm we've got uh, you know standard Raymarine uh, instrumentation here um, there's all our lights uh, outside lights are on there engine controls uh, all that is right there fire suppression systems all in place um, one of the interesting controls on here is uh, you notice there are uh, the port and starboard 24 volt alternators. When we go and look at the engine compartments here in a little bit, we'll see those. Um, they've got some really nice alternators on here for charging your batteries, uh, keeping everything up. And uh, there's the controls right there to turn them on and off. Very convenient. Um, double depth sounders. This boat actually has a depth sounder in each hull, so makes uh, keeping an eye on uh, that depth make sure that it isn't different between the two but also uh, if one goes out we've got a spare just looking down below here there's our, our remote mic for the radio set up there engine controls everything really nice right from here okay taking a look on into the saloon um, just looking at this big nice opening right here it really kind of ties the interior living space together with the with the exterior living space it makes it makes this one nice big area so social area everything they've taken out they removed the uh the saloon table um and just replaced it with a little folding table just makes that opens up that that settee there makes it a really nice just big social area to hang out we can see those uh those windows we were looking at earlier from the outside really nice uh lots of light in here lots of visibility really looks good open layout um looking over to the galley We've got this uh, nice, it's just an efficient galley layout. Lots of cold storage on this boat. Looking around, um, there we got our, our stove top. This actually just lifts up. Three burner propane stove right there. No problem. Oven just below that. Singles, uh, single sink. We do have, uh, there's the regular water. We also have uh, drinking water that's ran there. This boat uh, has water maker and it has a re mineralization uh, system on there it puts the minerals back in the water that water maker water sometimes is so pure that it actually might not be good for you <laughs> though I think it might take a lot of it to 
really harm you much. Um, lots of cold storage. We've got the fridge and freezer set up right here. And then down below on the other side, we'll, uh, I'll show you in just a bit, we've actually got a top loading freezer down below. Really versatile layout here in the saloon. Good uh, living room, dining room, we can convert it either way. Uh, this boat's set up with lithium ion batteries. Uh, more and more, those are just becoming more and more of a popular option. And uh, they're really cool what you can do with them. So, uh, oh, camera's kind of freaking out there a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, just talking about the lithium ion batteries, um, you can run two uh, air conditioner units on this boat for up to 14 hours just off the lithium ion batteries. No generator needed. There's boats not actually even equipped with a generator. All LED lighting throughout the boat, uh, even the exterior lights, uh, nav lights, everything. And uh, we've got an entertainment system here, uh, stereo there. Notice, I don't know if you saw down below here, big subwoofer down there, some nice speakers on board. Uh, also, the uh, TV system, it's ran through, I guess it's called a uh, Kodi TV system. Uh, basically, uh, use your computer and you can control. Um, it'll hold movies, uh, everything. Um, you can select all that. Great. One of the other features that's hiding down here, uh, where is it? Uh, you can just see the, uh, the cover for it down there on the left. That uh, cover is actually for a central vacuum system. The boat has a central vacuum system on board. Don't see that a lot. The air conditioning, uh, as we just kind of pan around here, take a look. Uh, we've got two 9,000 BTU uh, air conditioning units. They can both be ran by the lithium ion battery system. And uh, it are also set up for reverse heat. So if you decide you want to go cruising in the uh, northern latitudes, that's okay. They got you covered with heat as, as well. All right, we're going to go down and take a look on the starboard hull. Uh, this is an owner's version boat, so as we come down here, we'll, uh, we'll see. We've got nice big cabin forward. We'll go take a look in a second. And also a large head here at the back. One of the cool features they did on this boat, uh, we just open up here for a second. This is where our daggerboard trunks are coming down. But uh, rather than just having the daggerboard trunks there in the way, uh, the owners decided to opt to make this a little bit of storage right here. And uh, what can you put in that little tiny bit of storage? Well, looks like a great spot for a spice rack. Very cool how they did that. We'll take a look on the other side. They did a tool, uh, tool storage over there. Okay, take a look back here at the head. As you can see, large uh, separate shower. It's got the bench in there. Uh, really nice setup. Toilets here, electric flush. I believe these are selectable uh, either fresh water or salt water flush on the on the heads. Nice basin there. Really kind of cool. Nice way they laid that out. Okay. Heading back forward. I'm sorry. Yeah, heading back forward. Let's take a look here. Uh, in the cabin, you can see nice uh, access from either side. Nice layout. There's a nice uh, hatch, big hatch, right above your head there. So as long as it's not raining out, you can open that up. You get plenty of ventilation. TV there. And then coming forward, nice uh, windows there. And open this up into the forward. And we've got a, this really cool uh, cedar line closet here. Just smells awesome. Really, uh, really smells great. And uh, I guess keep some moths away. Nice, uh, nice use of this space. Just more storage, and uh, you could probably put more. Uh, actually, even more storage up here. Uh, put in another rack for clothes if you wanted to, or some shelf space. Um, but this is nice, comfortable use of that space right there. Over here on the port side, uh, just looking down in here, that area where they did the spice rack on the other side. Over on this one, open that up. We did all uh, tool storage. So really great use of that space right there. Okay. Also, uh, just as we come back this way, we can see uh, we've got the water maker. 
you can see there's the the gauges for it right there take a look inside here nice spectra water maker it's a cape horn uh, I believe that's uh, 16 gallons per hour nice layout there nice way to set that up and here's a little spot we can see into these uh, this furniture these uh, everything on here is cord so these doors right here actually have an aluminum honey honeycomb coring inside there makes them lighter and also stronger same with all these doors if we look at this it's like that nice thick look to them but they're still lightweight because they've just used them as uh, with the honeycomb inside just across from where our water maker is here uh, we can see we've got uh, all of our looks like our uh, panels there for the AIS uh, AIS splitter we've got the solar uh, monitors coming in right there just nicely uh, organized easy to access everything looks really nice in there this boat is just really really well engineered the owner had a lot of input on how the boat was designed and the electrical systems on board. Uh, really, really nice setup. There's a little crew bunk here. Nice setup. A little storage up above. Nice, uh, nice hatch there above to get ventilation there. And then we've got, here's our, uh, our top loading freezer we talked about before. 40 liters capacity on that. They've just uh, propped them open. The boat's kind of in storage here on our dock for a little bit. So uh, just got those in storage. Uh, the boat that we had in the sailing school here, uh, we use this as the, as the crew quarters. This is where the instructor, uh, the instructor's cabin, basically. Let's see. If we take a look inside these hatches here, uh, we've got our electrical distribution is all here. Nice, well-organized. Everything uh, easy to control. There's our Victron uh, charger inverter there. That's what everything's running off of right there, just through the lithium ion battery setup. Very nice. And then down below here is where uh, one of our AC units is living. Down here on the port hall, just taking a look into this forward cabin here. So same as on the other side, it's got the, the bunk here. It can be accessed from either side. Uh, we've got air conditioner controls here, light switches. You can see there's a lot of storage here. Like I said, the boat is uh, kind of in storage at our dock right now. So a little bit of clutter in here. That's okay. Surfboards and stuff take up a little room. That's all right. You can see on this side, so this one has the, the, the head in suite. So uh, just looking forward. Vent right up above there. We've got a big hatch, so uh, plenty of ventilation. Nice little uh, mirrors there. Mirrors are looking good. Some storage behind there. Nice basin. Really great setup. So this side has the in-suite head. The other side has the uh, has the big head uh, aft there. Lots of storage here. Let me just kind of check these out. Little hanging locker space there. Drawers and cupboards underneath the underneath the bunk and then even more storage just here behind the door two more two more closets uh, there okay. really nice setup the way the air conditioning is set up you can either you can select where the air is going so you just kind of cool the air you're going to you can see the two vents there uh, you close the vent up above, open those up, and this room gets air conditioning, or keep those closed and uh, pop the one up top, and the air conditioning goes up into the saloon. Just coming back up uh, out of this port hole here, there's our AC panel. You can see all the AC control right there. And then, just as we come back up, We've got over on the other side a uh, nav station where we just were a bit ago. There's all of our 24 volt and uh, they have stepped some of it down to 12 volt. There's a few things, the VHF, uh, a couple things, the stereo and stuff are running off of the uh, 12 volt. Going to take a look over here in the starboard engine room. Coming around here, take a look down, let a camera adjust a little bit. 
So this one's equipped with a uh, Yanmar engine. See right there. Nice setup, nice insulation. Everything looks really clean. We can see over here uh, on the inside. There's all of our connections there. Uh, breaker for the for the uh, where are we at here? Yeah, breaker for the uh, for the uh, large alternator over here. There's a combiner switch. Everything. And just taking a look down here, we can see that alternator. This is the uh, uh, Dell Star. It's a 170 amp, 28 volt alternator, uh, industrial grade. It's switchable at the helm. We saw those earlier. You saw the breakers just now. At 1400 RPM, this thing is producing 100 amps. So uh, if we take it up to 2000 uh, RPM or you know, a little higher, we're going to get even more out of it. But uh, that's a lot of output from the alternator. You know, it has a regular alternator over on the other side, you can see. Um, that's, uh, that alternator is charging uh, the start batteries and, and regular stuff, but if we got to charge that 24 volt system, if for some reason the solar isn't uh, keeping up, then that's, uh, that's where that's at, right there. All right, walking over to our port engine space. Just taking a look in here, let our camera adjust again. Another nice looking engine room. And we can see our alternators. We've got the one over here and the secondary one over there. On this side, that's an APS 160 amp alternator, 28 volts again. Uh, military spec, it's a medium grade, uh, not quite as heavy duty as the other one. And again, it is also switchable at the helm. Nice looking engine room, really well cared for and clean, which is always a great sign. We're going to go forward, take a look up at the spaces up forward, storage lockers. And uh, quite a bit of space up here for storage. So looking just down here, uh, we've got some just uh, extra fuel jugs, stock lines. Uh, those are the uh, mesh. Uh, UV protectors for the for the uh, windows there keep it help keep it a lot cooler looking over here in our anchor locker we can see uh, straight down there that chain if the camera just might be able to see down there it's a nice chain storage down there the uh, anchor chains making a making 180 degree turn there coming back to the to the uh, anchor windlass there Spare chain over here on this side for the for our spare anchor you can run that. There's our foot pay, uh, foot switches for the uh, for the windlass for I'm sorry for bringing up the anchor, raising and lowering. Over on this side, uh, looks like we've got some spare sails stored down here. Spinnaker. Uh, looks like some kite gear down there below. Stand up paddleboard, maybe hide in there. All right, and then this uh, compartment back here is quite large. Uh, lots of storage space in there. This is where our batteries are hanging out inside the battery box. There, you can see uh, shutoffs for uh, for both banks. We mentioned there were two banks for the lithium-ion batteries. Those are right there. A uh, the little power switch there, a strip if you're uh, needing to do some work with any power tools up here. That's great. This area is also, uh, it's plumbed already uh, for uh, fuel transfer. If we look forward here, there's fuel transfer pump right there it is. And uh, already hooked up with that hose. So if you run a fuel bladder or whatever up here, rather than having to try and pour that into uh, through the tank opening or something, uh, you can just run uh, run your bladder, run that hose right to it, and uh, hit the pump, and it'll pump it, uh, fill up your tanks for you right there. There she is. Just want to take a look at symmetry here on the dock. Beautiful boat. Love those aggressive uh, wave-piercing bows. She just looks like she should be fast. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe and like if you did. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, we're going to add a link to the full listing as soon as we get as soon as it's up on Yacht World.
Let us know what you think.